Hey tubers, welcome back for another adventure. It's time to spend a little more time on the what is it? GXT 804 dog 1995 vintage. Um, I had a friend of mine who believed if you sprayed contact cleaner on every anything and everything that it would fix fix up whatever ailed you. So obviously we just sprayed the contacts and we get nothing. And I have the meter going directly to the starter and we have nothing. So now it's time to start taking things apart to figure out if we're going to change the starter or what the story is. Easy enough to do, one handed job, air cleaner, off. the air cleaner out of the way take off those two bolts which gets this out of the way looks like I might have to disconnect that throttle and at that point the starters completely uh, in my hands and I could see what's cooking took the bolts out of here there were four of them and now it's ready for the air cleaner box to come off done there's the starter, and what am I showing you? Okay, so I took the carter pin out of this, which allows this to slip off. I want to make sure I'm not losing any washers or anything. So there we are. Get that right out of the way. You guys could see the starter is now nice and loose. And it's just a matter of taking a look at those two bolts on the bottom where it looks like one bolt that slides through right see the end of it down down there and the other side there it looks like I take that bolt out this thing slides right off and I'm good um, to me it's kind of surprising the starter is taking like no power which is interesting <laughs> I guess we'll find out more when we get it apart okay here's the starter out of the easy go I just took it out and here's the starter that I bought for the club car yeah I know another job I got to work on and quite honestly they look the same right I don't know if you guys remember the bolt went through here and then the adjuster pushed up on this to tighten the belt up in this case this shouldn't be here this should be rotated around to here right where the pulley is and then once again this is push pushes up so it's kind of like a left-handed starter or a right-handed starter all the you know the D's are, are marked the field 2 and the DF and all oh that's marked up so I don't think it'd be that big a deal to swap wires around but I just looked at this and you see these things here and you got a spring pushing down on it I believe this is the brush and the spring just pushes down on it once again I'm surprised it's not taking any current because I don't believe there's permanent magnets in here I believe there's field magnets that require power though if it's kind of a series motor it might have to go through the brushes before it gets to the fields anyway I think I'm gonna take this cap off and we'll see what what happens hopefully stuff doesn't spring all over the place as a matter of fact I think I'll um, give the garage floor a quick sweep and uh, and do it in there so taking this starter apart looks easy enough looks like you just take out this bolt and this bolt and this cap comes up and then we'll see all kinds of good things okay tubers let's go on a starter hunt and looks like I found them there's two of them over there let's climb over there and take a look 
So guys, not only did I find starters, but I found an 8-horse Briggs, a pretty cool seat, pile of tires, more motors, and a pair of China quads. <laughs> I guess it's my lucky day. Um, and some pool pumps. <laughs> and a weed whacker. Wow, I got a lot of junk in here. Hey folks, here's the two starters I just dug up. And you can see this one kind of seized. And if you look in here and look at this, it kind of suffered a meltdown. So I'm thinking this one's dead. This one turns, but um, the pulley's too big. And I'd really rather not get into changing that. So in the land of spare starters, I'm not doing so good. So here we have the new starter. Um, between A1 and F2, we have about five ohms. And you can see it changes depending, as I'm spinning it here, right? But it keeps settling down, you know, three, four, five ohms, something like that. Hey folks, what you could see is this is the old starter and you can see the, where the resistance is. So I think what I need to do is clean up the stator on this thing, the communicator where the brushes rub up against the stator. I think that's known as the... Oh, com commutator, I think it's called. Anyway, I'm going to clean that up and see what it looks like. Well, unfortunately, it looks like the starter is dead. I took the cap off and I cleaned the end of the uh, stator, the commutator, I think it's known as. I cleaned that up. Once again, I checked the brushes again. It all, it all looks good, but the internal resistance for this one is, you know, a couple of thousand ohms. Um, and if you spin it, you could get down, down to the high hundreds. This one, it's like two ohms. And if you spin it, you could get to around 500. So I don't know exactly what opened up on this, what went uh, resistive. Um, I might play with it some more, but I think in the meantime, I want to order a starter for the, um, for the easy go, for the workhorse, because I really want that thing to come back to life and be somewhat usable in real time. And my other problem with, um, spending too much horrible time on this is that I can end up, it, it might not be reliable, right? And that's that's the last thing I want. Um, I want to make it so that I can just walk up to the cart, turn the key, and fire it right up. So, I guess for the time being, I'm, uh, I'm going to go inside and spend some money. So far, I have $1,000 invested in this cart. Um... I haven't looked at the carburetor yet. Hopefully it doesn't need one of those. Hopefully I can bring that back to life. So if it costs me 150 bucks, so I'll have 11, call it $1,200 into it, that won't be horrible. That's not what I expected, but it won't be horrible. Such is life, huh? You win and you lose. In this case, I didn't, I, I was going for an out of the ballpark win and it, that doesn't look like it's going to happen. I was hoping to fix it for no money. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for dropping by to watch and comment and subscribe. Please remember to keep your, fing <laughs> your fingers down, your feet down, your heads up and get out and enjoy each and every day. Bye now.